This tutorial needs some sport weight yarn, a three millimeter hook, scissors, and a threading needle. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna start with a slip knot. Then we're going to chain up five. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a circle. We're going to chain up three. And we're going to work 15 DC into that circle. We're going to join with the slip stitch. Then we're going to chain up three. That counts as your first DC. Then we're going to work two DC in your first DC. We're going to chain one, skip one DC, and work three DC in your next DC. one skip one DC and work three DC and your next DC and we're going to do this all the way around okay when you're finished you should have a total of one two three four five six seven eight three DC clusters then you're going to join with a slip stitch you're going to chain one and you're going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. So a slip stitch in each of the two and then one in the chain space. Then you're going to chain up five and slip stitch to the next chain one space, chain five. slip stitch into the next chain one space and you're going to do this all the way around okay when you're finished you should have a total of one two three four five six seven eight chain five spaces you're going to fasten off and you're done with your first flower Okay, let's work on our second flower. So we're going to start off like we did before. We're going to chain five. Okay, join with a slip stitch in your first chain, chain three, and work 15 DC in your circle. Okay, chain three, same exact as last time. So you're gonna work two DC in your first DC. Chain one, just skip a stitch, skip the DC, work three DC in your next DC, and just do that all the way around. Okay, chain one. And then we're going to slip stitch in the next two DCs. And again, in the chain one space. Okay, now we're going to attach our first flower to the flower that we're working on. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to slip stitch to one of the chain five spaces on our first flower. And then we're gonna chain two again. And on the flower that we're working on, on the next chain one space, we're going to slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two again. And on the next chain five space of your first flower, we're going to slip stitch. 
And we're going to chain two again. And on the flower that we're working on now, the next chain one space, you're going to create a slip stitch. You're going to chain two. And then on the next chain five space of the first flower, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to chain two. And on the flower you're working on, on the next chain one space, you're going to slip stitch. And now you connected your two flowers together. So now you're going to chain five. And you're going to slip stitch in the next chain one space of the flower you're working on. Chain five. And slip stitch into the next chain one space. And you're going to do this all the way around. Okay, fasten off and you should have a total of eight chain five spaces on your second flower as well you connected only three of them and you're actually going to do this until you have a total of 17 flowers Once you're finished making your 17 flowers in length, sometimes you may need more if you have a larger head, I'm going to show you how to make the knot. So you're going to flip it over so it's wrong side facing up and we're going to twist it. When you're creating the knot, you should be seeing the, the right side of your work. Um, and sometimes it's a little difficult. You kind of have to just work it um, so it lays flat. Um, but as you can see, the knot is there. Now we're going to slip stitch the two ends together at the chain five spaces. Okay, so we're going to attach at the first two chain five spaces, chain one. Slip stitch and then join the next two five chain spaces with a slip stitch. Fasten off. And you are finished. You are done with your headbands. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and share, and make sure to follow. Thank you.